While completing an accurate 3D model of a house is essential, it's only half of the design process. The other half involves generating the necessary drawings. To effectively communicate with the structural engineer, workshop workers and on-site installers, it's crucial to generate various 2D drawings, including panel drawings, engineering results and layout drawings. To export the drawings in Vertex PD, the publisher function is the optimal choice. After you have completed the house model and generated all the necessary drawings in Vertex PD, navigate to the top left corner of the screen and click on File. From there, select Export and then click on Publisher. In Publisher, there are several default sets, each of which publishes different drawings. Browse through each set to see if there is one that matches your needs. Alternatively, you can create a new set to suit your specific requirements. In this example, we will create a new set named Shop Drawings, which will export all the LGS panel drawings into a single PDF file. Once the new set is created, we can add a new file to it by clicking on New in the lower left corner. We will select PDF Book as the file type since we want to export all the drawings into one file. For the file name, we will use LGS Panels. To add PDF files to the PDF book, we will first select the LGS Panels PDF book and click New. Next, we will click Browse and navigate to the project folder. We will select the SE folder where all the panel drawings are stored. We can then choose any panel drawing file that starts with SE and use an asterisk to replace the panel number in the file field. This will represent all panel numbers. We can customize the view of the drawing file by adding multiple properties. To do this, we can click the New button under the Properties window to create a new property. For this example, we will add a sheet property to specify the drawing sheet size to A4 landscape. We can use Publisher to batch export the drawing files into a variety of different formats. Here we will export all the panel drawings into a DWG format. To do this, we will click the New button under the Files window again and select DWG Drawings as the file type. We will then navigate to the SE folder once more and choose any panel drawing file that starts with SE. We can use an asterisk to replace the panel number in the file field, then click OK. If desired, you can modify the path where this new set will be stored. Additionally, you can save this set for future use in other projects. After everything is set, you can click the Publish button to start exporting the files according to the settings you have specified. Once all the files have been published, a window will pop up indicating that the publishing process is complete. After the publishing process is complete, we can navigate to the location we specified to store the published files. Here we will see that all the panel drawings have been exported as individual DWG files and a PDF book containing all the drawings has been created. We can open the PDF file to view all the panel drawings. With Publisher, it's possible to have multiple drawings in the same file, but export them as individual drawings. In this example, we can see that we have multiple drawings of the same floor in the same drawing file. If we want any of these drawings to be published separately, we need to add a frame for sheets macro from the component library. On the other hand, if we don't want a specific drawing to be published, we can easily remove its corresponding macro. Similarly, if we want to publish only certain drawings, we can move the macros to those drawings and remove them from the others. In this example, we will remove the macros for the unwanted details to ensure they are not published. Some settings also need to be configured in Publisher. As before, we can create a new set, but this time we'll name it Framing Report. We'll add a new PDF book and name it Framing Report. For the files, we will select all the files in the View Sheets folder. For each file with multiple drawings, we will need to add a print area property and input win plots in the value field. This will ensure that each individual drawing is printed separately. For users who prefer to use the same line colors as seen in the drawings, we can add the colors by screen and true line width property to the files. This will ensure that the line colors are consistent with the original drawings when exported. 
After all the settings have been completed, click on the Publish button to start the publishing process. Once the publishing process is complete, you can navigate to the location where the files were saved to find the published files. In this case, the Framing Report PDF should be located in the PUP folder. Upon opening the file, you will be able to see that all the drawings that were selected for printing have been printed as individual drawings. Line colors and line width are the same as seen in the drawings. There are numerous other powerful features in Publisher for you to discover. So come and experience a more efficient way to organize and manage your design documents.